Welcome to the news flash of Thursday, March 6th, where I'll be telling you about the return of the Dark Knight, PlayStation 4 surpassing the Wii U, and a lucky few heroes of the storm. But first, we start the news flash with the departure of a legend. I lost 15 years, buried alive, erased. You left me. Story writer Amy Hennig left game studio Naughty Dog. In more than 10 years of service, she wrote the entire story for the Uncharted series. According to a statement from Naughty Dog, the development of the new Uncharted game for the PlayStation 4 will not be impacted. According to reports, the split between the story writer and the development company have not been completely friendly. Sources from IGN claim that Hennig was forced to leave by The Last of Us's Neil Druckmann and Bruce Straley. Let me see. I didn't mean for this. Show it to me. Please, 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 just go that way. Please look that way. Go around. Don't. Nothing here. Okay. That's a relief. Oh my god, that was lucky as shoot. And more sad news from development hell. Eidos Montreal laid off 27 workers now that Thief has been finished. Although it is sad, this isn't something that's uncommon with development studios as they need to make way for fresh new projects. It's unknown what Eidos Montreal is going to be working on after they finish Thief. Maybe they'll start working on the next generation version of Deus Ex? <laughs> What's through here? <laughs> Like that. Oh, now I lost you again. Where have you? And now, finally, some good news. Later this year, Warner Brothers will be publishing Batman: Arkham Knight. The open-world action game is in development now at Rocksteady Studios for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. And guess what? The game will feature a usable version of the Batmobile, which kind of infers that Gotham is going to be even bigger than before. Bust some heads, yeah. push your friend, and watch him die. Cool. Go up there now. Well, that's a nice trick. The frantic action game Battle Block Theater will see a release sometime this year. Game Studio The Behemoth has announced that there's going to be a beta test starting at the end of this month for the game. This stuff is going to be fun. Just look at the track record for The Behemoth, with games like Alien Hominid and Marvelous Multiplayer Mayhem of Castle Crashers. And don't forget, this game will be out on Steam. What's with this twisted charade? Why do you forge ahead when everything feels so hopeless? The weight of the world crushing your spirit. Just any help? It's one of those freaks! Whoa! No, 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 no! Sony has announced they've sold 6 million PlayStation 4 units. The next generation console is now available in Japan, which has caused somewhat of a sales boost. PS4 owners are looking forward to Infamous Second Son, while Wii U owners are full of anticipation for the next Mario Kart 8. Do me a favor, con man. Tell Julia I miss her. Murdered Soul Suspect is hitting stores earlier than previously expected. The supernatural thriller is planned for June 3rd in North America, while Europe and Australia are gonna have to wait till June 6th. In Murdered Soul Suspect, you need to investigate your own murder while traveling through limbo, interacting with ghosts, and avoiding demons. This sounds pretty badass. If you don't have enough MOBA games to play yet with League of Legends, Dota 2, and Smite, then you might be looking forward to this long-awaited version from Blizzard. Beta tests for Heroes of the Storm are going to start opening soon, but guess what guys, unfortunately it's only available to the press and people in North America. The release of South Park The Stick of Truth has been delayed in Germany and Austria. Apparently there are some swastika symbols that have not been taken out and therefore the role-playing game cannot be released in these two countries. The game features giant Nazi fetus, Nazi cows, and Nazi ginger kids. Which are like all ginger kids, right? So I don't even know why they're differentiating. Just kidding. Ah, somehow that green goo makes ginger hallway monitors even lamer! And that's a wrap. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Check out my own personal channel down in the description. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check back Monday for more news. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.